Hello everybody, uh, Alex here again with a second instalment of the SBC Video Bet Diary. Um, the first video was uh, a video that was outlining the four tipsters and services that I was using in my betting portfolio, all were SBC recommended. Um, the second video is a results video. So I've actually been using these four services for over four months now. So I thought it was about time that I uh, let everybody know how I'm doing. Just a reminder of the four services that I'm using then. Um, the first one is the Bookie Bashing Golf Tracker. Um, that is a service rather than a, uh, a, a, a pure tipster. So you have to go and pick, do your, get your own picks. Um, the second one is similar. Uh, it's the Bookie Bashing Racing Tracker. Again, a, a, a service, not a pure tipster. Um, then we have the poacher who is a football tipster and CD Systems Daily Bargain, Bargain, which is a horse racing tipster. Okay, let's get into how I'm doing then on each service and I'll start with the bookie bashing golf tracker. Just a reminder for you what the golf tracker is, I'll do this for each service I guess. Um, this is the bookie bashing golf tracker, um, this is the tracker where you where you pick um, your your EV selections for the week. This is the Charles Swab Challenge, which starts in a couple of hours um, on the USPJ Tour. Um, so I won't go into details, of course, but this is what I've been using and this is what I've been making, um, quite frankly, my mega bucks with. So how have I been doing then? I've mentioned mega bucks and yeah, it's been excellent in terms of profit. Here's uh, just my graph, everyone loves a graph, so we'll start with the graph, um, outlining my progress, uh, outlining the profit I've made with this golf tracker. Um, and as you can see, I've actually never been um, making a loss. I've been in profit from uh, day one. So I started back in January and we're going to May, as end of January to end of May. Um, the same with all four of these services. Um, but you know, with this golf tracker, I started end of January and I think I hit a winner, um, my first week, uh, which was Siwoo Kim, I believe. So, um, you know, I started great. Um, I've been going great and I, I've ended great. So let's just go into a little more detail on what has made up, um, this profitable period. Okay, so down and down into the numbers a little bit, bit. All of these numbers are in pounds, of course. Um, so my starting bank was two thousand pounds, and I've uh, I'm currently on an eight thousand six hundred and seventy one pounds and five pence bank. Okay, so that's a profit of six thousand six hundred and seventy one pounds and five pence. Um, that has been over 270 bets. I've staked just over £6,000. And um, so that comes out at a, a whopping 109%, 109.8% return on investment or a huge 333.55% return on capital. That figure is my bank growth. You'll see that for all four. Um, so that's how much my bank is, is growing. So the difference here. So incredible numbers, you know, I'm so happy with this. Um, what I actually did was I started with a £2,000 bank and I think after I hit my first couple of winners, I went up to £3,000, so that allowed me to stake a little bit more. The way you stake with this golf tracker is through a, uh, a golf betting calculator, which is on the Boogie Bashing website. That calculator gives you a stake depending on the EV, your bank and the odds, you know, so the, the higher my bank, the more I could, uh, could put on, um, you know, and that's been a, you know, a great decision because that's allowed me to make more profit. So really excellent, completely chuffed, you know, this is a little effort for a lot of money. Um, you know, it, it's a couple of hours each week. Uh, there's two, um, tournaments there's two on on the, there's a tournament on each tour so the pga tour and the european so normally they uh, tee off on a thursday so you're talking 
a little bit of time on Tuesday, a little bit of time on Wednesday, and then your bets are done and, and you know they run through the weekend and you find out how you did on Sunday. So minimal effort for high reward. So moving on then, and another bookie bashing service is the racing tracker that I've been using. Again, awesome results. So happy, as you'll see in the next graph. But uh, before I do, I'll just give you a quick reminder of what the tool is that I'm using. So this is the tool that I've been using. Um, this displays uh, plus expected values, horse racing selections. And I've been putting them in Lucky 15, so I've been using the Lucky 15 strategy. Um, I'll post more about that in the comments. Should you wish to know more, should you don't know, if you don't know about that strategy, details will be in the comments of the video or the description. So yeah, picking plus EV horses from this tracker, put them in Lucky 15s, and it's been extremely fruitful for me um, again. So what does extremely fruitful look like? Well, it looks like this. Here's the graph. This is where I've ended up. Um, similar timeline, I think again, may maybe started start of February in this one. Um, and I believe my total profit is just under the £6,000 mark. Um, so again, over the moon with, with this four months, £6,000. Just, you know, you just can't complain about that. That's just fantastic returns. So, but it wasn't all smooth sailing with the racing tracker. So I actually was um, on a bit of a downswing for quite a bit. So sort of end of March, mid-April, I wasn't in profit. I believe this is about minus £1,300. So, um, you know, you need to have to, you need to be able to deal with variants. Um... I was staking £60, lucky 15s. So, you, you know, if you get a, a bad few weeks, you can easily um, be at a loss, you know, a quite considerable amount of, of loss. Um, but I always had faith in the expected value. And uh, lo and behold, start of April, I had a, a nice win. And from that point on, um, it was profit after profit. And like I said, I've just finished up uh, on below the six thousand pounds mark, uh, which I'll show you now. So, bookie bashing racing tracker figures: starting bank three thousand pounds. So slightly different here. Um, my bank has finished up uh, eight thousand uh, on eight thousand eight hundred thirty-two pounds and thirty-four pence. So that is a total profit of £5,832.34, pence, which, you know, is, is cracking. Um, just, just so chuffed with that. Um, which works out at a 25.12% return on investment or a 194.41% return on capital. Again, bank growth, that figure to that figure. So how did I do that then? Stake size, as I say, was £60, so I was putting on £60 lucky 15s, and that is a total of 387 bets, uh, which is a total, sorry, of two, £23,220 uh, staked. So you can see here, it's much more about volume. Um, it's different from the golf tracker, so I'm making more bets, but that actually allows me to put on more money. So, you know, if I can get £23,000 down, get a 25% ROI on that um, in four months, then, you know, you're laughing all the way to the bank. Um, so while the ROI might be smaller, you can get a lot more money down with this strategy um, and, you know, make... Uh, a similar amount to the golf tracker in terms of profit. So really happy with these numbers. Um, just a bit of, about the bookmakers. This is only on Bet365 um, due to the purposes of how I could confidently access and do this properly at the required stake that I wanted. So only Bet365. You may have seen the um, analysis that the Smart SBC have done on the racing tracker. It shows you that Bet365 um, has, normally has the most value selections. So you can get the most bets down with them. 
and you, you, they gen, generally tend to, uh, in my experience, um, on this sort of thing, limit you slower, allow you to get down a bit more. So you know, the 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 best value bookie, really the best bookie all round, um, which is why I've just done it with, with Bet three six five. There are many other bookmakers that you can do this with. The tracker, as you've shown before, shows you many other bookmakers, Sky, Bet, Paddy Power, Betfair, etc. So if you don't have Bet365, you can do this with others as well. Okay, moving on to our pure tipsters now. And firstly, the football tipster, the poacher. And unfortunately, with the poacher, the this is the service that is the only one that I've not been in profit with. Um, now, disclaimer on this, I guess, this is actually purely my own fault um, because over this period, the poacher has been in profit. Uh, SBC track every single bet, which I'll show you in a second. And over the same period, so uh, end of January to end of May, um, the poacher has turned a profit in this period. What, it, what the, all this is, is that I haven't been able to get on every single bet. Um, due to, you know, commitments, life, missing bets, maybe being lazy. Uh, but um, yeah, it, it means that I've missed out on some winners and, and picked more, more losers. So that's why. Um, let me show you uh, exactly how he's done over that period just to prove uh, my point. So this is the poacher's uh, latest results. Um, these are the SBC recorded results that are on the Smart Betting Club website. And you can see 2021, he's showing a 2.23% ROI or, or a 4.88% profit. Now, my period that I've been doing this is slightly different um, because I didn't start right at the start of January, um, but I did start um, mid to end of Jan through to, to now. And, um, you know, I've placed considerably less bets. There have been 226 bets to go on and, um, you know, I've only placed 80 odd. So, you know, he has done well and um, I don't want you to think that it's not a good tipster and he's not profitable because he is. It's just the way, uh, it's just the bets that I've caught. Okay, so back to just my individual stats on the poacher. Um, my starting bank was £1,000 and my bank has gone down to... Uh, £798.31, pence. so that's a loss of £201.69 or a minus 7.6% ROI or a 20% uh, minus 20% return on capital, that's the difference there. So my point size was £20. Um, one of the problems that I did as well is I went up to £50 for a little bit because he was doing so well. Um, and I actually made a few losses on that. So that's con also contributed to this profit and loss. Now, I wasn't comfortable with um, losing £50 um, so early, early on in, in my journey here. Um, so, you know, that's a lesson for me. It's a lesson for other people. It's really important with betting to only bet what you're comfortable with because if you get yourself in an uncomfortable position when betting, um, you feel like you've overstaked, then you're going to make mistakes, you know? And this is a classic example. You know, I go up £50, I have a few losers, and then I, you know, I almost um, make my decision even worse by coming back down to £20. But I did it quick enough to only lose a bit. And from then on, you know, I was comfortable with my bets. So make sure you're comfortable with what you're staking because otherwise, psychologically, you're not going to be happy and you're going to make mistakes. OK, on to the last tipster then. Uh, this is CD Systems Daily Bargain. This is a horse racing tipster. And this guy has been picking winner after winner recently. Um, I can't believe how well it's, it's gone, uh, which I will show you here. Okay, so my staking size is smaller here. Um, so the actual profit number is uh, smaller, but as you'll see in, in, the minute, in a minute, the percentages are uh, just as amazing. So again, um, starting from zero, I had a bit of a, a downswing here. Um, 10 pound stakes and I went down to roughly minus 80 pounds. 
Um, but all it took was, I think that was one winner and I was back in profit. And again, from that point on, I've been in profit the whole time I've been using this service. So what do these numbers look like then broken down? Um, my starting bank was £1,000 and that stayed the bank uh, that I'm using at the minute. And that has increased uh, to £1,373.82. So a profit of £373.82 or a 91.18% ROI. So nearly 100% return on investment. Again, amazing percentages. Um, the return on capital, 37.38%. So bank growth is that much or this to there. Point size, um, 10 pounds, 41 bets. So volume, not huge. So still early days for this, really. Again, I have missed some bets during this period. Um, that's 410 pound state. So, so happy with this. Um, there's actually another winner that's just come in today before I um, ha recorded these um, or before I did these slides. So that figure has gone up, so even better. Um, and, you know, one of the other amazing things about this is I've been able to get the advised odds on, uh, the, on Betfair Exchange. So I'm not risking any bookmaker restrictions here, um, you know, which is a massive plus. Um, you wouldn't take long for your account to be restricted here. This, these tips are um, often beating uh, the the closing line odds. You know, so I'm I'm bet I'm betting uh, on odds that are higher and, or better um, than they are when the horse goes off in the race. So that's regularly a red flag to bookmakers because that is how you profit really most of the time, uh, long term when betting, uh, beat the closing line or value betting. So um, I think St Steve Jones is, is this guy's name, you know, he really knows what he's doing. He knows when the odds are better than they should be. And I've been able to more often than not match these odds uh, at the exchange. So, you know, fantastic for uh, long-term punters, people that have restrictions, or like I say, people looking for long-term viable betting options. Okay, so that's about it. Um, just a quick summary on my profit and loss for my portfolio in total then. Um, the Bookie Bash and Golf Tracker, 6,671 pounds, five pence profit. Bookie Bashing Racing Tracker, £5,832.34 profit. The Poacher, um, £201.69 uh, loss. And then CD Systems Daily Bargain, £373.82 profit. Uh, that equals a total of £12,675.52 profit in four months, uh, which is amazing. You know, it's just fantastic from betting. Only four months. If I can continue that through the rest of the year, um, you know, you're looking at you're looking at mid five figs just from betting, tax free. Fantastic. That's it for this video. Then, um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let us know in the comments section of this video. Your uh, contribution is very much welcome, um, as long as it's nice, of course. Look out for the next video in the series uh, coming in a few weeks.